So I'm sitting here on the on the porch early evening. I'm not sure what time it is, maybe 4.30, 5, so I guess it's not quite evening, late afternoon. Um, just reading some Facebook stuff. Sitting here with the, with the other two of the three amigos. That's what Diane calls us, the three amigos. And uh, so a couple, a week or so ago, I, I made a post about how aggravated, I probably used a bad word, apologies. Um, how aggravated I am at Facebook for censoring stuff that's factual. Uh, and I don't say it's factual because, you know, it's something that I couldn't substantiate. But one of the things I shared uh, a couple weeks ago was a video of Dr. Fauci himself. Um, some congressional guy was was uh, quizzing him on... on uh, basically the virus and vaccines and stuff like this. So this is Fauci. I mean, Facebook deleted it because it's not the message they wanted to hear, but you can't dispute it. At least not if you not if you consider him credible because he's their guy, right? He's the the world's falling uh, wear a mask guy. And uh, so in this video, uh, this 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 guy, I wish I could remember his name because then I could probably find the video again. Uh, the guy that was was uh, I, won't, I won't say interrogating, but he was he was holding him pretty hard to task on the questions. He was trying to pin Fauci down on on it on the virus and it, viruses in general. And he asked Fauci, "How long is the fastest a vaccine has ever been ever been um, researched or a new one and completed?" And Fauci, man, he was dancing around, did not want to answer it, but he did. He answered it, and he finally said that 18 months was the fastest that's ever been done, 18 months. But Fauci, for some reason, I'm not sure why he volunteered this, but he went on to say they never got a chance to really put it to, to use to see if it was effective because it was for the Zika virus, and the Zika, Zika virus went away um, before they could really implement the vaccine. So there's some humor in that, uh, but uh, God works in mysterious ways, right? So that was one thing, 18 months, and that one hadn't even been tested. So, so the gentleman went on to, to uh, continue to question him and said, okay, so what's the, what's the average time to field a, a successful vaccine? And Fauci, man, he didn't want to answer that one at all. Uh, he, he, like I said, he kept tiptoeing and danced around it, and the guy held, held to the question. And Fauci said the average time to field a, a functional vaccine is six to seven years. I'm not making this up. You got, I mean, if you know me, you know I'm not a liar. You might not agree with things I say, and, uh, but uh, I wish I could find this video again, and maybe I will be able to. If somebody else does, by all means, share it, share it with me. So six to seven years. So that brings me to this: what, what, what we're doing now. I think they'll beat that by a far, fair margin. Uh, they're talking about having some stuff uh, coming quick, fairly soon, uh, which which is promising to some and scary to others. Uh, I, I certainly won't be getting in line. Uh, but so let's talk about mask. I mean, you know, I, I put something up the other day about you know I don't know why it occurred to me because it just. In, in my brain, this is the mask thing is just, there's something flagrantly wrong with it. And I'm always trying to figure out how I can articulate what that might be. And, and you, you probably saw my post the other day, I posted something about CS gas for those people that don't know what CS gas is, it's tear gas, the same stuff that uh, law enforcement uses or whatever. But if you're in the military, you know very well what it is because you go to the gas chamber at least once a year. and um, and I'm here to tell you, you know, of course, you're wearing a nuclear biological contaminant uh, mask. Uh, and if that thing's got a little leak in it, you know it. And, and, and uh, you're miserable because that stuff is nasty. And so my, my point was the, the uh, um, a molecule or a particle of CS, uh, I'm going off of memory, but I'm pretty sure I remember, was, um, was um, 400, approximately 420 micrometers in in size whatever that means but the scientific stuff i didn't make this stuff up 420 micrometers and so i asked in my post 
you know, if you've ever experienced CS or tear gas, would you expect a cloth mask to, uh, would you put that on and, and feel safe? Uh, and uh, nobody really answered, certainly nobody questioned it, but uh, I know what my military friends would say, even those who are maybe de deniers, they'd say, hell no, they wouldn't put a, a cloth mask in 95 or otherwise off uh, on and hope it would it would protect them because it'll it'll <laughs> seep right through that like there isn't nothing. Now we're not talking about gas that's projected. We're talking about it's just kind of in the air because when you go to the gas chamber, it's not like sprayed at you or anything like that. It's not like uh, um, pepper spray that people carry for defense. It's not a projected thing. It's just floating in the air, uh, much like this virus is going to be right. So 420 na uh, micrometers for the for the average size of a CS particle, and so then I looked up the average size of a virus of this COVID virus. It's 0.125 micrometers, um, and I think I did the math. I don't remember what the number is. It's like three or four thousand times smaller than uh, than the CS. So what good is a mask going to do for for virus that is four three or four thousand times smaller so people say okay you know uh, <laughs> droplets and all that forget droplets and all that you know if it's if it's coming out of your mouth it may or may not be in a droplet it doesn't have to be a droplet even if, even if it is in a droplet is the mask going to stop the droplet and they said well that's why you both people wear a mask well then uh, how about i don't wear a mask and you wear two masks if if two masks but two masks if if you were in a cs chamber and you had one of these cloth masks on and you put the other cloth mask over the top of the uh the cs canister that's that's the stuff's like filtering out of it's not gonna make a difference it's gonna be miserable for you real quick so uh, so why does the government why is the government pretty much saying many many people in the government saying wear a mask and i think it comes down to this they know it's ineffective but they have to give the people something to do to feel safe. You know, after a shooting uh, where somebody shoots up a school, um, they're always running around to try to pass gun laws, and, and it, nine times out of ten, or nine, maybe more than that, most of the gun laws they're proposing wouldn't have affected, had they been in place, they wouldn't have affected that particular shooting. But they want to do stuff to make them feel like they did something so they can sleep well at night, and that's what I think this mask thing's about. So, so not just the government, but but uh, the citizens that believe it can feel like, oh, there's, they, they, the government did something to protect me, even though it's not going to protect you because it wouldn't have. Case in point, it's the gun laws I'm talking about. Uh, you know, and I study the gun thing quite a bit, as you all know, so I'm biased, of course, but only because I can see when they want to pass a law that had nothing to do with that crime. Had that been in place, it wouldn't stop that crime. But these, they use these these uh, tragedies just to start pushing their agenda, which is to disarm the population. But that's a sidebar. We'll not not focus too much on that tangent. But so, yeah. Uh, so then I think, well, why do people buy the mask thing so so quickly? It's the same people that buy these these gun laws that they want to pass. And I'm not focusing on the gun laws. I'm just using it as an analogy. These are the people that that want to do something. They don't want to think hard on whether it's really doing anything or not. But but they they want to believe the government, and so they can go about their business and they can feel good and, and just ignore it, um, utopia or whatever. And a, a sidebar to that, I think why they're so angry at those of us that don't believe it and don't want to wear a mask because if we continue to live and we didn't wear a mask and they wore the mask the whole time i think that that there's a potential there that it makes them feel like they were duped and i believe they are duped uh, i'm not saying these are not smart people i just think they're people that don't want to think hard about uh, what's going on so i'm not trying to demean anybody I'm sure it's going to come across that way to some people. So I just, I just am always trying to figure this stuff out, and I think a lot about it way more than I should. I haven't been drinking. Actually, I'm drinking coffee right now, not even that bourbon-colored tea. Um, so masks. So let me know what you all think, man. Post some comments. Uh, I think this is just a... a a door to see what the government can get away with that's going to be a side side effect of it i don't think that's what it's about i'm not going to say that but 
but every time the government does something to restrict, oh, oh, I was going to say one more thing about masks. So the mask mandate, here's the hilarious part. So they will tell you that you can't drink and drive, right? So let's let's reference to something, and I'm, I'm having a hard time coming up with a good articulation of, of this, what I'm trying to get at, but maybe you'll, you'll figure it out. Um, you, you can't drink and drive. Uh, so if you... If you, if you haven't had alcohol, yeah, you can drive. There's there's no restrictions there. I mean, there are restrictions, of course, but but uh, there aren't. Uh, they're not saying you can't drive with alcohol in your car or anything like that. You can't drive if you've consumed a certain amount of alcohol. You can can, dri can drive if you if if that amount you've consumed is below the level, right? But the mask thing, they're putting restrictions on you, and it, and wearing a mask is a restriction. Don't. Don't say it's not. They're, they're saying, if you want to do this, you must do that. Then that's a restriction. Um, and and we're talking about, we're not talking about optional things like going to the store. That's a required, that's something you have to do, right? You have to go to the store. You have to get food. So it's not even an optional thing like going into a restaurant. You could argue that. Uh, I don't believe it, but uh, I, I don't believe it's right. But you could say they can they can say you can't go into restaurants or something like that because yeah you don't have to go to a restaurant you can eat at home and whatever but the restriction they're putting on you isn't because you're suspected of having covid it's because you have the ability to have it you could get it if you're exposed to it so they're restricting people based on basically you just being alive uh, anybody alive could get could get the virus so you know so hence everybody's got to be you know go through it which it, to me i hope you understand what i'm getting at it's asinine that they're restricting a right a freedom of movement based on the fact that you're breathing i'm not talking about you came up positive um and and you're still going out and about you're not wearing a mask or whatever frankly if the masks work if the mask work and you come up positive then you should be able to go out and wear a mask if you're wearing a mask, right? Um, I'm not saying you should, but, but I mean, logically, right? Uh, and then, let's, you know, the mask thing. So you, you just think about if everybody was doing it 100% right, like wearing a mask, each, both people were wearing a mask, it, it was a well-fitted mask, Maybe it's all, everybody's wearing an N95 mask. Let's just say that. And they're not. It's far worse than that, but they're not. So if you did it right and you never touched that mask, and then when you got home, you threw it away, because that's what those are for. Those are not a washing type of mask. You threw it away. You put a new one on. Oh, and also when you come home, anything you touched, I mean, you, you take all your clothes off, instantly wash them, because, because if you... Anything you touched, somebody else has touched in the store. So when I when I go in the store now, everybody's adjusting their mask, they're fitting it, they're pulling it down, they're pulling it up, they're scratching themselves, right? They're doing this dozens and dozens of times, and they touch a product, a bag of potato chips. Well, they don't get that bag uh, because they put it back, uh, or you know, a carton of milk or whatever. They touch touch the handle on the on the door to the refrigerator for the milk, and then the next person goes up. So people, dozens and dozens of people have touched that, and it and it's an exponential. You know growth of how many people have touched that and these people have been touching their their mask and whatever and now you touch it so if their mask is like saturated with germs uh, to include the virus it's now on their hands so it's now on that milk carton it's now on that handle of the refrigerator everything they touch in the store it's on the credit card machine at the register um it's on all that stuff and then when when you touch that stuff it's on your hands and now you adjust your mask you you, you know what i mean you maybe pull your mask down for a second to do something, talk to somebody, or just to catch some air, put it back up. Now you just put that on your face. And then you get in your car, and you touch your door handle, and you touch your steering wheel, and you touch your radio, and you touch your seat belt. And then you get home, and you take that mask off. Actually, you took it off when you, when you before you got in your car, I hope. Uh, that's another subject. But you, you uh, take that mask off. And you put it in your pocket if you're a man. You put it in your purse if you're a woman. Maybe you put it in your glove box or wherever. It never gets washed, ever, or replaced. I mean, some people are probably washing them, sure. But I will guarantee you that most people aren't. So these germs are everywhere. This is everywhere, you know. 
the mask thing is ridiculous. If it was done properly, even then it would be ineffective, but now it's a comedy. Uh, with uh, there no standard on a mask. I, I've got a paintball mask that you can literally see my face through. I can wear that. They, nobody can say they can't throw you out because they can say uh, you're not wearing a mask. Yes, I am. I, you can see through it. Okay, show me where it says you can't. You have you can't see through the mask. That 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 doesn't qualify. Uh, because then when they do that, then you're gonna say these yarn masks or these homemade cloth masks. They're not as good as an N95 mask. And then let's you know. We're gonna go down that rabbit hole. They can't do that because you know, it's that what they put in place is a restriction that they think people have the ability to comply with, um, even though it's not gonna make a difference. That's what they feel. They have, they have, they have, they have the ability to comply with it, and uh, and it will make them feel good. So anyway, this went way longer than I thought it would. Where are we at? Wow, 15 minutes. Sorry about that. Um, if you suffered through this long. Um, drop me a comment or something. Let me know what you think. Uh, wh where did I stumble as far as it didn't make sense or you don't agree or maybe you do agree or whatever. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty convinced. But at the same time, I still listen to other people that have different views. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say my mind is super open on the issue, but, but uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of a nightmare, and I don't think it's going anywhere. I see this six months down the road being the same as it is now. So hope you all have a good evening, and we'll talk to you all later.